please hit the notification bell and also hit the like button. This helps in our ratings with the videos and we appreciate it. And be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And we'd like to talk this morning a little bit about smoking rivets and fretting. So here's a classic example of a smoking rivet. You know, it just stains the paint. Let's look and see what else we can find on this airplane that might be smoking. Well, right here we can see a little bit of fretting from the uh, nose bowl to the cowling. Cowling could be tightened up a little bit right here. It's The screws are tight, but the clamping between the halves. We're going to take a look at that. Uh, a little bit of fretting going on up here by the oil door. Let's walk, walk around and see if we see anything else real obvious. Yeah, more fretting on this side. And again, the cowling can become, here's a smoking rivet. So they're easy to spot uh, when the airplane's dirty before you wash it. And if you get underneath the airplane, there's no telling what you'll see. And this wing looks pretty good. So those are just a couple of the telltale signs of fretting. And a smoking rivet. And you don't want either of those because eventually it will fret enough that it will wear. You can actually see here some of the stripes that have come down from the fretting going on in the metal right there. So, again, take a look at your airplane and a good, hard, critical look. And look for those smoking rivet trails. And then either drill out the rivet with your mechanic and retighten it. Or find out why it's fretting and fix it. And today we're going to talk about smoking rivets. And you can tell when you have them, the reason why they're called smoking is because this little rivet is fretting. It's moving back and forth when the airplane vibrates in flight. And it's creating this smoking tail, which you can wipe off and go, look, I fixed the rivet. But these smoking rivets will eventually wear all the way through the aluminum, and you won't have a fastener there. So we're going to have to retighten these, or if worse comes to worse, we'll drill them out and repop rivet them. That's going to require taking off this access cover, squeezing these rivets, seeing if that does the job, and um, and going from there. And it won't be just the rivets that's smoking, because the rivets are smoking and smoke, it's chattering. You can see a little bit of wear right here where the cover is hitting the aluminum. Yes, and we can wipe it off. So this is why you don't want to wash your airplane right before the annual. All those telltale tracks there are signs that help us find out what the problems on your airplane is. So, take a look on the bottom of your wings. A lot of people don't look at them, but that's what a smoking rivet looks like. And what we're going to do this morning is show you how to fix those smoking rivets. So, this one's smoking, this one is smoking. If you bring the cover back around, you can see the smoke trails. And this one is smoking. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a rivet squeezer on it. And it's just a simple matter of lining it up on the head. We've already set the depth we want. You come along and we squeeze them. Doesn't take much pressure to re-squeeze that rivet. You don't want to over-squeeze. And that takes care of the smoking rivets. Now we'll put this access cover back on, wipe off the trail, and we'll find out we're successful in a couple of hours. If one of them needs to be retightened a bit more, we'll see a, a trail off it. But more than likely, this is our rivet squeezer for these kind of rivets, and we've got it set and dialed in pretty well. So, haven't had to have any redo. So, we hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching, and have a good day flying your Grumman. And in addition, there's a little treat. About 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff, Here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all, please enjoy.